Well, hello and welcome to the BitMonkey Show. My name is Alex and today is day four of the SEO uh, five part series. Now on day one, we talked about how you can improve your click through rates through writing powerful headlines. Day two, we talked about website speed, how you can uh, check for your website speed using the Geotometrics tool. And then yesterday, we talked about how you could fix one of the issues that might be affecting your uh, page speed scores on Geotometrics, which is the surf scaled uh, images issue. So today we're going back to content optimization and specifically, I want to introduce you to a particular tool that you may or may not have heard of. It's called Answer the Public. Now, this is a great resource I found a few months ago, and it's a great place to discover uh, particular keywords that you can use uh, to write content or articles on your post. So as usual, I have prepared a special uh, tutorial for you on how to use this particular tool. So sit back, relax, and I will see you at the end of the tutorial. I want to introduce you here to a tool which is answerthepublic.com and this is a site that you may or may not have heard of. Now basically what they do is that they get their results, the search results from the auto suggest feature that uh, Google provides you. You know when you go on google.com and you start typing in some keywords and Google begins to auto suggest other keywords. Basically, what Answer the Public does is that it grabs those auto suggestions and provides them for you. So basically, in other words, you're searching for what other people are searching for. Just to give you an example of how this actually works, when you come down here, you do have the box where you can add your keywords. Now, it is recommended by the team from Answer the Public that when you're adding keywords, just add only the keywords. There is no need to answer and add prepositions like uh, for or with or things like that, just adding the keywords. So as an example, I can just come in here right now and say uh, chicken soup, just as an example, all right? You can come in here right now and click on get questions. So you can see right now it is getting all the data from the Google uh, auto suggest feature. And now we've gotten 106 questions. So the way this tool works is that at the very top, we're going to have the questions, which means people, the kind of questions people are asking for in relation to our keywords. We will have the prepositions that people use with our keywords, comparisons, alphabeticals, and so on. But let's start off now with the questions. So in here right now, this tool found 106 commonly asked questions in relation to chicken soup. And now in here, you can even see they've broken, it, they've broken down the uh, question, uh, the kind of question that's been asked, basically with the, I don't, do you call them prepositions? Which, where, will, when? <laughs> I don't know if these are prepositions or not, but uh, I think I need some more uh, English lessons. But basically, you understand what I'm trying to say here. Can, all questions with the word can, you can find them in here. Uh, can chicken soup be frozen? Can chicken soup uh, cure a uh, cold? And then in here, like which, for example, uh, which chicken soup is good for cold? What chicken soup is, is, is gluten-free and so on. So you can see how this tool has broken down the kinds of questions that have been asked in relation to our keywords. You would also notice that some of these questions are like in green completely while some are fading. So the bolder the green color, that means uh, the more common that question is. As an example, why chicken soup went sick? This is a commonly asked question. But then the one up here, why chicken soup is healthy, isn't quite as common. I guess most people do know that chicken soup is healthy. So that's for the very first block. Now, if we come down here, we do have with prepositions. And of course, these are the prepositions right here. Uh, for, is, can, without, near. So again, you can see the kinds of search terms that people are looking for with Google. Uh, chicken soup without chicken, people are searching for that. Uh, chicken soup to fight the flu, chicken soup to freeze the, the you know, recipe and so on. So again, in here, you can get lots of different ideas for what to write on if you're looking to write an article on chicken soup. Then again, in here, you've got the comparisons. Okay, so what, what are people comparing our search terms with? In this case right now, you can see chicken soup and dumplings, chicken soup and pasta, uh, chicken noodle soup like Campbell's, uh, chicken soup and dumplings, 
uh, chicken soup for fever and so on. So again, this is so fantastic. And then we've got alphabeticals. So in here right now, you can see all the most common search terms with chicken soup from A, B, C, all the way down to the letter uh, Z. So you can get even more ideas. And then finally, related. What other search terms are related to the ones that we provided? In this case right now, we've got uh, chicken soup Heinz, uh, chicken soup for the soul books, uh, chicken soup pasta, chicken soup with, with rice, and so on. So again, you can get some additional ideas on how to further develop your uh, long tail keywords. Now, the beautiful thing about this particular tool is that you can also uh, download the individual images. So as an example, at the very top right here where you've got the prepositions, you can come in here, click on save image. And basically the tool right now will generate the image. Let's just wait for a few more seconds. And uh, there you go. So right now you can just click on download image. Yep, there you go. So now it will provide the image and then all you need to do is just right click and then save the image to wherever you want to save it to. And of course, you can also switch the uh, the way the data is displayed. You've got the, vi the visualization mode, but then you can also go with uh, data. So in here, actually, let me just go back up here. Uh, let me just refresh this page just a second. I think it's Try, okay, okay, fine. It's reloaded everything. Okay, okay, okay. So there we go. 106 questions. So this is the visualization mode. If we switch to data, you can now get even more, or a different way of displaying uh, the questions. So there you go, right there under R. These are the questions being asked under R or is. These are the questions being asked under can, how, what, when, where. Uh, which, who, and of course, why, and of course, uh, will. So that's a different way of taking a look at the question. So this is a wonderful, wonderful tool for trying to figure out exactly what people are searching for. Now, I've also found a video on uh, Vimeo. That's the link right there, vimeo.com forward slash 356-397585. This is a video that they created. I believe there is a lady in here. And I believe she's a member of the staff or not. I'm not sure, but they basically recommended uh, they recommended this video for training. So if you're interested in learning more how to use this particular tool, be sure to watch watch this video. They do have a pay a pro version where you provide where they provide you with even more uh, features. And this lady goes all the way to explain uh, everything. So if you're interested in figuring out more how to use this particular tool, I'll be sure to give it a go. Thank you for watch watching and I'll see you in the next class. Well, that's it. We've come to the end of today's tutorial on how to use the answer, the public uh, web resource to source for keywords. And I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please hit the like button. It really does help me. Share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from uh, today's tutorial. Now, don't forget tomorrow is the final day, day five of the uh, SEO tactics uh, master series. So I hope to see you tomorrow. And if you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to put them in the comments uh, section below. Thank you for watching. And of course, I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day ahead of you. Cheers.